And apparently you guys are pretty cool. <laughs> and you're number one. Power Rangers is back! Okay now, we're supposed to kick things off with a fun teaser. Are we ready to roll? Aha, uh -huh, I just got the big bathe. The this sign from the Lies of Man. This fall on Power Rangers Super Sentai, Jim's secret is finally revealed. Surrender executes his evil plan to split open the earth. Welcome to the start of my reign. Deadpool and the Red Ranger fix off the from the deep, but they defeat the Rangers, or will they succeed in sealing him away forever? I will destroy you all! All of your questions will finally be answered. Prepare yourself, this is the way we win for an epic battle. We can only be a team beyond anything you can imagine. You will fall, this world will be protected. Super Samurai, every Saturday at 12 noon, 11 Central, with all the episodes coming this fall on the top of the day. Yeah! Come on, give it up, these kids are walking in. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So, guys, I'm going to say it one more time. If you're not watching out for Vortex, you're lagging, and I'm bagging. <laughs> because Vortex is going to be a brand new online and broadcast destination for the coolest programming on the CW. Every Saturday morning, 7 a.m. to noon, Vortex has educational programming. Yeah. Ooh, I don't need that because I'm educated. <laughs> but everybody should be educated. And we're going to have some of the shows we mentioned before Justice League Unlimited, Iron Man, Armored Adventures, WWE, Saturday morning, Slam, Dragon Ball Z, Yu Gi Oh! Sex on Yu Gi Oh! Classic, and Power Rangers Ross Galaxy. <laughs> but, you know, we can't use these guys for a platform to. You know, launch Vortex without saying you really do need to tune into the number one children's property. Saturdays and Sundays, Nick Lady. And of course, you guys know what's coming up. Mega Force. Yeah! So we're hoping you're looking forward to the launch of Vortex next Saturday. Next Saturday, we're launching Vortex. Holy cow, that's close! I have, to, I have to figure out the clock on my VCR. <laughs> I'll still use that. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been very cool and very patient. And thank you guys for coming through the secret tunnel. Yeah, Is it real? Secret tunnel. Yeah. No. Man, it was a secret tunnel. Well, um, can I get a hand sign if we're good to go on to our next queue? Michael Madden, are we good? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. We'd like to introduce to you. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we should take some questions first. Of all. Rob, you're getting ahead of this. Hey, but look, I just got these like five minutes ago. <laughs> Anybody got some questions for Rangers? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's line up. You guys got a question? Come on, we line up. We're not like a radio station. We're not going to like check the questions first. So be nice. Uh, feel or go about with the transition of uh, going from playing the hero to playing the villain? Well, 
well, like, I really didn't know. I was, um, I was going in on it. I was basically going to go play Cole until I started, and then the producer just said, no, you're not Cole, you're basically a new character, and you know, don't bring it into, into Samurai. So um, actually I embraced it. I was able to basically just turn it off and just uh, make dark and this or that. And I just really wanted to make the show a little bit edgier for all of us, uh, the people that are uh, hardcore fans, you know, I don't know, that's what I did. All right, thank you. Just to let you know, just wanted to say that you pulled it off beautifully. Thank you. I've heard that most, if not all of you, were Power Rangers fans before you were on the show. So, what was it been like for you guys to go from being Power Rangers fans to being Power Rangers? Yeah, it's a it's a hard feeling to describe. You know, it's. I'm, I'm sure all the kids that are in this room would love to go to the Power Rangers themselves. I mean, that's why they got the costumes on. So. Woo! Give it up for the young fans! Woo! And keep doing it too, because we were you guys when we were kids, so you never know what could happen. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a childhood dream come true, so whatever your childhood dream is, if that, you know, just put yourself in that. If it actually came true, that's where we at, so it's a very surreal thing. It's kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain. We watch our kids walk through the lines. No, it's been inspiring, you know, to uh, to meet all of you, to stay in contact with you guys through social media. I think that's really cool. Is that we get to nowadays we get to connect with you guys through the internet, and uh, you guys are all awesome. We're really receptive to the show on there. We really appreciate you guys' love. And uh, you know, I can tell you a quick story that you know, telling everybody um, when they ask about you know what is it like to be a Power Ranger fan and then be actually a Power Ranger. And I used to, I always tell them that uh, they used to tell me in uh, kindergarten, this is my mom. Now your child, you know, he's Kind of hyper, so much Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so blame it on the Power Rangers. Yeah, much love, guys. Thank you so much for everything. We love you guys so much. And, uh, we'll have you hey, you guys.